Hello everyone. How are you today? We come back to see you again. How are you today? Okay. Please come back and see me again. Today I'm going to teach you another lesson. The lesson today is about clauses. Clauses. Have you learned clause before? Okay, look at the interruption. What is a clause? What is a clause? A uh, sorry, clause. Clause is you can say a clause is a group of words containing a subject and a verb. So a clause is a group of words that containing a main subject, one main subject, one main verb, and have the complete subject is called so one main sub one subject one verb is called clause. Subject verb clause. Remember that the group of words that contain subject and verb is called clause. Subject verb clause. Clauses are divided into two kinds. Clauses are divided into two kinds. Okay, one is independent clause, or we can say main clause or principal clause, and another is dependent clause, or we can say sub clause, subordinate clause or sub clause. Okay, please study the first type of clause is independent clause. What is independent clause? An independent clause is a complete sentence. It contains the main subject and verb of a sentence and it can stand alone as a complete sort. So independent is a complete sentence. It is a complete sentence. It has complete meaning. And it can stand alone as a complete sort. Okay here. An independent clause, it means the clause that contain the subject and verb that have the complete sort that stand as a complete sentence that it have a complete meaning. Example here. The cat is sleeping. The cat is sleeping. This is the complete sentence because it have complete sort. The cat is subject, is sleeping at the verb. So this sentence has a subject, main subject, and main verb. One more. Jojo reads English fluently. Jojo is the subject, reads is the verb. So the group of words that have subject and verb like that we call clause. And the clause that have complete sort like that we call independent clause. One more. Chatra saying loudly. Chatra is the subject, saying the verb. So the group of sentence that contains subject verb like that we call clause. And this is, this is the unindependent clause because it has a complete sort. It is the complete sentence. One more, the police stop a pickpocket. The police stop a pickpocket is a complete sentence. Okay, can you the lesson? Okay, another type of clause is dependent clause. What is a dependent clause? What is a dependent clause? A dependent clause is not a complete. It not a complete sentence. Okay, sorry but for being interrupted. Can you? What is a dependent clause? A dependent clause is not a complete sentence. And it can stand alone as a complete sort. So, a dependent clause, or we can say a sub clause or subordinate clause, is not a complete sentence, it's not a complete sort. It must be connected to the independent clause. If the subordinate clause or dependent clause want to make it complete sort, yeah, it must be connected. 
the independent uh, the dependent clause must be connected to the independent clause. So sub clause must be connected to the main clause in order to make the complete sort. Okay, look at it. Dependent clause. Dependent clause are divided into three different type. One is noun clause. So there are there are different type of dependent clause. One is main clause. The other is adjective clause, and one more is adverb clause. So there are three type of independent clause: noun clause, adjective clause, adverb clause. And you will study with me all of this type of dependent clause for the next lesson. Next lesson, you will study adjective clause, noun clause, and adverb clause. Okay, here dependent clause, dependent clause. In mean, you can say support equal subordinator, subordinator plus subject plus verb, but it's not complete. Example here. Then he said, this sentence start with the word that. That he said. We don't know what he said. This is not the complete sort because it is only part of the sentence only that we call dependent clause or sub clause. This is only the sub clause. What she told you. What she told you is not a complete sort. It's not a complete sentence. It is just a sub clause because it's only part of the clause only. Okay, one more. Where they live? Where they live? We don't know what is where they live. This sentence starts with a subordinate. Which we need. We don't know what we need, right? So all of these are the as sub clause or subordinate clause or we can say dependent clause. It is not an independent sentence. It is not an independent sentence. We, it cannot stand alone as a complete sort. So for dependent clause cannot stand alone as a complete sort. It must be connected to the main clause. Okay. If you want to make the Different clause to be complete, you can connect it to the main clause. But when a dependent clause is combined with an independent clause, it does make sense. Right? Turn back a little bit here. That he said what she told you, where they live, which we need. This is not complete. It does not. All of this are not complete something. They does not make sense. So in order to make sense, dependent clause must combine with the independent clause. Example: We don't know where they live. So here, where they live, where they live is the dependent clause. We don't know is the main clause. So main clause connect with subordinate clause or subordinate clause connected is connected with main clause. It become complete sort. We don't know where the, we don't know where they live. It is a complete sort that we call complete sentence. Okay, one more. Don't believe what she told you. Don't believe what she told you. So what she told you is the sub clause. It is connect to the main clause. Don't believe. Don't believe is the main clause. What she told you the sub clause. So when sub clause can uh, combine with main clause, it make complete sort. It makes sense. Okay, that's all. For the clause is a short lesson only. A short lesson it is about only clause, 
just seven days lesson is just no clause what is clause so if you want to study in detail about the noun clause adjective clause adverb clause you will study with me in the next lesson don't forget to subscribe share and like my channel and to get more new lesson good lesson for you for those who want to learn the grammar in english especially the basic grammar for writing skill thank you for paying attention bye bye see you next lesson